Devarim, Deuteronomy 22. You shall not see at your brother's ox or at his sheep go astray and hide yourself from them. You shall in any case bring them again unto your brother. And if your brother be not nigh unto you, or if you know him not, then you shall bring it unto your own house, and it shall be with you until your brother seek after it, and you shall restore it to him again. In like manner shall you do this with his ass, and so shall you do with his raiment, and with all lost thing of your brother's, which he has lost, and you have found, shall you do likewise. You may not hide yourself. You shall not see at your brother's ass or his ox fall down by the way and hide yourself from them. You shall surely help him to lift them up again. The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are abomination unto Yahuwah Eloheka. If a bird's nest chance to be before you in the way in any tree or on the ground, whether they be young ones or eggs, and the dam sitting upon the young or upon the eggs, you shall not take the dam with the young, but you shall in any wise let at the dam go and take at the young to you, that it may be well with you and that you may prolong your days. When you build a new house, then you shall make a battlement for your roof, that you bring not blood upon your house, if any man fall from thence. You shall not sow your vineyard with diverse seeds, lest the fruit of your seed which you have sown and the fruit of your vineyard be defiled. You shall not plow with an ox and an ass together, you shall not wear a garment of diverse sorts, as of woolen and linen together. You shall make fringes upon the four quarters of your vesture, wherewith you cover yourself. If any man take a woman and go in unto her and hate her, and give occasions of speech against her, and bring up an evil name upon her, and say, I took at this woman, and when I came to her, I found her not a maid. Then shall the father of the damsel and her mother take and bring forth the tokens of the damsel's virginity unto the elders of the city in the gate. And the damsel's father shall say unto the elders, I, ha I gave at my daughter unto this man to be his woman, and he hates her. And lo, he has given occasions of speech against her, saying, I found not your daughter a maid, and yet these are the tokens of my daughter's virginity. And they shall spread the cloth before the elders of the city. And the elders of that city shall take at that man and chastise him. And they shall immerse him in a hundred shekels of silver and give them unto the father of the damsel because he has brought up an evil name upon a virgin of Yasharael, and she shall be his woman. He may not put her away all his days, but if this thing be true, and the tokens of virginity be not found for the damsel, then they shall bring out unto the damsel to the door of her father's house, and the men of her city shall stone her with stones, that she die, because... She has wrought folly in Yashara El to play the whore in her father's house. So shall you put evil away from among you. If a man be found lying with the woman married to a man, then they shall both of them die, both the man that lay with the woman and the woman. So shall you put away evil from Yashara El. If a damsel that is a virgin be betrothed unto a man, and a man find her in the city, and lie with her, then ye shall bring at them both out unto the gate of at that city, 
and you shall stone them with stones that they die. At the damsel, because she cried not, being in the city, and at the man, because he has humbled his neighbor's woman. So you shall put away evil from among you. But if a man find at a betrothed damsel in the field, and the man force her and lie with her, then the man only that lay with her shall die. But, rather, but unto the damsel you shall do nothing. There is in the damsel no sin worthy of death, for as when a man rises against his neighbor and slays him, even so is this matter. For he found her in the field, and the betrothed damsel cried, and there was none to save her. If a man find a damsel that is a virgin, which is not betrothed, and lay hold on her and lie with her, and they be found, then the man that lay with her shall give unto the damsel's father fifty shekels of silver, and she shall be his woman, because he has humbled her. He may not put her away all his days. A man shall not take at his father's woman, nor discover his father's skirt.